Hello people, in this video we want to look at place distribution of disease. Exactly where are we? We are looking at epidemiological methods in that observational studies under that descriptive study. Descriptive studies you have uh, time distribution, place distribution and person distribution. Time distribution we have finished in the previous video. Now we are looking at place distribution. What are we looking at? Place distribution. So, do you remember looking at all this in the previous video? Descriptive studies, define the population, define the disease, describe the disease by time, place, person. In this video, we are looking at place distribution. Okay. And then, um, basically, place distribution means what they have told here. Climatic zones, temperate zone, tropical. Tropical or tropical? Tropical zone. Country, region, urban, rural, local, community, town, city, institutions. All these are place distributions. So this is what we will look at in this video. So place distribution is also called as geographical distribution. What is it also called as? Geographical distribution. Very good. So basically here you have international variations, national variations and urban rural variations and local distributions. These are the four things you will have to cover. Okay. And then you will have to also do some migration studies. This also we will do. After this, we have to study what person distribution that will be in the next video. In this video, what will we look at place distribution? So by studying the geography of the disease, we, we gain perspective on the fascinating differences in disease patterns. Okay, uh, between countries, within countries, etc. We are saying we get some fascinating information, differences. The world is not uniform unit. It is varying. Okay, all that you can write. Anyways, only four things you have to know. International variations, national, regional, uh, urban and local, right? Rural, urban and local. Let's, let's start off with international. So basically, cancer of stomach is very common in Japan. So Japan has cancer of stomach very high. Why? Because these people are taking some salt and salted food intake. Who doesn't take salt by the way? Everybody does, right? Anyways, guys, these people are blessed to have not much breast cancer. Breast cancer is more in western countries, okay? And in India, what is more? Cancer of oral cavity and uterine cervix. Cervix and oral cavity cancer is more in uh, India. Why you take oral cavity? Is it because of pan, tobacco and all that? Beetle, beetle nut. Okay, then you know AIDS has this uh, variation more in Africa kind of a thing. And all these have started there, right? Middle Eastern uh, respiratory syndrome came from there. But I think now these have spread, spread all over the world, what do you see? So anyways, uh, in India you have a lot of diabetes mellitus also, right? Okay guys, so where are we now? Let us look at some national variations with respect to India. Some parts of the country are more affected with some diseases than other parts, right? Let's look at these. The diseases that the textbooks are mentioning are endemic goiter, lethyrism, fluorosis, leprosy, malaria, nutritional deficiency diseases, etc. They have shown, but they're not, textbook is not telling where exactly what is more and less. So anyways, Kala Azar is more in UP, West Bengal and Bihar. Okay. Because this, I think uh, this uh, insect is there. Sandfly, phlebotomus, okay, and even Jharkhand. Jharkhand, okay. Then Japanese encephalitis, you know, they will give this vaccination and national immunization schedule only in some states. That is because it is having national uh, distribution, place distribution. So West Bengal, um, Uttar Pradesh, Kasanur forest disease, where will you get here? Right here in Karnataka, you get this. Kasanur forest disease, especially Shumoga, right? Because of hard dis hard tick, it is found here. So you, you can remember Karnataka, Karnataka, you know, right? Kasanur forest disease, malaria. Where will you see more? You will see it in East and Northeast India, obviously, because here I think you get this Anopheles mosquito more East and Northeast India. Where is Northeast, guys? So this is North and this is East. So this will be Northeast India and East India will be this. What do you see? Is this East India? East and Northeast India. Okay. Then, Filariasis. Filariasis, again, I think it needs water and coastal areas, isn't it? So, yes, so it is coastal. Coastal regions you will find. 
filariasis very good then fluorosis fluorosis do you know where we you will get actually in uh, this is fluorosis actually uh, we know that in nalgota they have this uh, to remove in andhra they want to remove the excess fluorine right so central and western india it says central and western india where is central india here and western india somewhere here is this what it they mean but where exactly is our uh, where we think it is is in andhra isn't it fluorosis andhra pradesh let's just open that fluorosis video and check wait you remember this nalgonda technique video here you have already seen fluorine what it is and uh, high levels of fluoride are there in india china and thailand and uh, what it is and what it causes it causes dental fluorosis skeletal fluorosis etc etc and uh, andhra pradesh they came up with this nalgonda technique isn't it actually it was developed by somebody else is it yeah it was developed by nagpur maharashtra national environment engineering research right so why is andhra pradesh here guys focus many parts of the world drinking water contains excessive fluorine india china and something else they said endemic fluorosis has been reported to be a health problem in certain parts of the country example andhra pradesh yes this is what i remember and also they are talking about haryana punjab karnataka is also having problem guys kerala and tamil nadu so i very well remember andhra pradesh but how is that central and western i didn't understand india okay then let's go back here so we'll remember it however we want it andhra pradesh karnataka and haryana punjab etc etc a lot of places have this issue we'll remember other okay hiv guys where is it more in tamil nadu it is more isn't it high prevalent states are in tamil nadu etc even karnataka so karnataka right next to tamil nadu so tamil then uh, others lot of other states are there don't worry andhra pradesh maharashtra all these states are there you remember tamil nadu mainly then uh, it is main in africa so there in international let us just add that aids where or hiv i think hiv is a better thing to put than aids south africa right nigeria and unfortunately they have to included india also now in this then where, what about diabetes you know china and india have lot of diabetes i think this is more like a international thing what do you see diabetes mellitus in india china you can remember how is it going people is it just going way to above your head so basically we are looking at national variations we saw that uh, kala azar is more in up west bengal bihar jharkhand etc japanese encephalitis is also there kyasanur forest disease in karnataka malaria in east and uh, north eastern india filariasis in coastal regions fluorosis in andhra pradesh karnataka etc hiv more in tamil nadu karnataka etc okay new diseases in india guys all the diseases in the world are coming to india right like who is sparing anybody all people are traveling so much they brought covid they brought everything here h1n1 congo fever litchi virus disease ebola zika plasmodium ovale also increasing now see earlier you had what plasmodium vivax and plasmodium falciparum now ovale also has come off how sad plasmodium ovale nipa west nile by fever everything on the earth has to come here okay no escape then rural and urban variations let us look at which disease will be more in rural and which disease will be more in urban what do you think just give some examples okay uh, zoonotic diseases will be where um, zoonotic diseases will be more in rural right soil transmitted helminths so rural you will have zoonotic diseases like brucellosis and all will be there only i think right then you have uh, soil transmitted helminths like hookworm is it all this will be more in the rural then also they are talking about what else skin skin diseases all that will be more more there then what else in uh, rural areas the maternal mortality rate is more right infant mortality rate is more because they don't have good healthcare facilities looks like okay what about urban let's look at urban now how is it going people is it going uh, fine let's uh, continue what are we looking at rural urban variations 
So urban, what will be more? Look at the pollution here. So you can expect accidents, chronic bronchitis, lung cancer, cardiovascular diseases, mental illness. Yeah, very good ones they have mentioned. Chronic bronchitis accidents, so you can say road traffic accidents, lung cancer, cardiovascular diseases, mental illness, drug dependence, loneliness, all that will matter here, mental illness. So why is there difference guys between rural and urban? Because of population density, social class, deficiencies in medical care, sanitation, education, environmental factors, all that will matter, isn't it? Now we are moving on to local distributions. Can you say what we are looking at now? Local distributions. Yes, that's right. So guys, this is a spot map or a shaded map of Asiatic cholera in London. So you can see here, this is local distribution. What are you seeing here as a boundary? This is the boundary of equal distances between Broad Street Pump and other water pumps. Okay. So basically, they have, there was an outbreak of Asiatic cholera and uh, John Snow, who is the father of epidemiology, what he did, he found out exactly what the problem was. It was water and he found out that uh, uh, cholera is because of water, waterborne disease it is. Even this, this was even, even before bacteriology. So he became the father of epidemiology. So there was a clustering of cases in the Golden Square district of London. And he found out that the source of water, there was a source of infection, common water pump, okay, where that is in Broad Street, okay. And this was the local distribution. This helped him understand how the disease is distributed, the, what is a waterborne disease and what the cause is, etc. Then what else, guys? Guys, in India, we don't have, um, in India, we don't have, yellow fever, right? We don't have yellow fever. We don't have onchocercosis. That is the fever. Onchocercosis we don't have, right? Onchocercosis. What is this? Onchocercosis? Some river blindness, isn't it? African seep sleeping sickness means Africa only it will be there, right? What do you say? I mean, it can spread but mainly there. Look at this, guys. The South Walk and Wall Vauxhall Co. This water supplier, whoever they supplied water, there was maximum deaths here. Okay. So for each 10,000 houses, 315 deaths were there. This is what he found. This people, the water they were supplying was contaminated with sewage. So guys, in this video, we have looked at uh, place distribution. Last thing we have to look at is migration studies. Guys, what do you think migration studies is? See, now the world is such that people just move anywhere and everywhere and the disease goes everywhere. So, soon there will be no place distribution. No, but still place distribution can be there in terms of vector if it is dependent on the vector which is available in that area, etc. See, the thing is, um, what they are saying is you can compare, you know, when there are migrants, you can compare, you can compare it, the migrant with the local population. You can see if they are genetically different uh, groups, you know, how does the disease affect them? Right? Is it just the environment that matters? Did you understand, guys? So basically, sometimes you can just change your place and maybe the disease will go away. What do you say? Kind of a very positive thinking. That is a way of putting it positively. See, they're saying that people from Japan, if they go to America, they will have uh, not that much of stomach cancer because they are adopting the American way of life. But they will end up getting coronary heart disease, etc. looks like. Here also they are talking about how long do you have to stay there, right? How long do you have to stay duration and is it the first generation which is affected uh, has changes or the second generation which is born there has changes, etc. So there is a lot of things that you have to uh, look, understand, study, etc. That is what is epidemiology, right? So we are done with place distribution, guys. So guys, in this video we have looked at uh, place distribution or geographical distribution or geographic uh, comparison. So in the international variations you can have, this is basically the disease uh, distribution varies based on place. It can vary based on place. Like international various, uh, variations, Japanese people, Japan people, people in Japan you can say more like, not like Japanese people. People in Japan have more stomach cancer, but very little breast cancer. Western countries they have breast cancer. India there is oral cavity cancer. 
uterine cervix uh, cancer, right? But we don't have yellow fever, onchocercosis, etc. We don't have HIV more in uh, Africa, Nigeria, etc. South Africa, Ni Ni Nigeria, etc. Diabetes mellitus more in China, India, right? Then guys, national variations in our own country. Kala Azar is more in UP, uh, West Bengal, Bihar, Jharkhand. Uh, Japanese encephalitis, uh, UP, West Bengal. That's why Japanese encephalitis and national immunization schedule is not mandatory for all areas, just wherever it is uh, prevalent, right? Kiasnur forest disease in Karnataka, Shumoga, that is if you want exact details of where exactly because of heart tick, this one is Kiasnur forest disease. Malaria more in east and northeastern India. That is why here even though uh, some of the plasmodia have become resistant to certain drugs, so the drug regimens also are different in these areas uh, for malaria. So you treat malaria differently <clears throat> in South India and differently in, uh, in Northeast India, strange, right? Filaria acids uh, mostly in coastal regions, right? Uh, then fluorosis in Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Haryana, Punjab, etc. They said HIV more in Tamil Nadu, Karnataka. So these are national variations of the diseases. Uh, new diseases in India are like everything from the world has come here. You can add COVID also. Rural urban variations uh, in rural, what will you see more like zoonotic diseases, skin diseases, soil transmitted ailments. You will see more maternal mortality rate and infant mortality rate because people are not having that much of health uh, systems, right? Health services. Urban, you will see more pollution, so chronic bronchitis, uh, road traffic accidents, lung cancers, cardiovascular diseases, mental illness, drug dependence more in urban. Then coming to local distributions, remember spot map, map or shaded map of uh, you will have to prepare because it's a local uh, thing. And this is an example of Asiatic cholera in London where they have shown you this is the location of pumps and uh, location of fatal cholera, cholera cases have been marked. And there's a boundary of equal distance between uh, <clears throat> Broad Street pump and other pumps. This was by John Snow, the father of uh, epidemiology. He uh, made this spot map and he came to the conclusion that cholera is a waterborne disease. And even before bacteriology, right, cluster of cases he could see and he could try to guess what the cause is. That's great, right? And he saw that the people who were supplying water, the South Wark and Vauxhall company, the water which was coming from this company had problem and people were dying more from uh, who were getting water from this company because the water was contaminated with sewage. Okay, then migration studies now everything is like um, people from there go here, here, go there, so much of air travel, etc. So there's a lot of migration and uh, they want to know if genetics can also affect because it is uh, what about environment, effect of environment, is it just environment or does genetics also matter and how long does the person have to stay there and will the first generation be affected like the person who has migrated or like the local population or what about the second generation, will they be affected by the disease just like the local population or like the uh, migrant uh, because of the genetics. So they are trying to do a lot of studies. So that is what is epidemiology, right? You are studying the distribution and the determinants of health events or disease in a specific population and you want to apply all this information for the benefit of health, right? To solve all health problems. So that's all guys. In this video, we have looked at place distribution. Bye-bye.